is Sydney's northern beaches. It's a playground for sun lovers. <laughs> where every day is a celebration. Northern beaches, go on. That keeps the cops busy. Go away. Get out of my face, please. In your face. So when things get too hot... Get out. I'm not going to tell you again. At this point in time, you're under arrest. No, no, just mate. Just stop, stop there. Stop there. He's going to run. These cops keep it cool. Where's your ID, mate? We're trying to take We're you home, to take bro. You home. Can we get a supervisor to our location with a drug bag and scales, please? Beaches 15, copy code red, five to ten. Well, you guys finished acting like idiots. Welcome to their world. All right, guys, let's get going. This is Beach Cops. The sun's now going to be directly on it. Leanne and Ryan have been called down to Manly by a concerned local. Yeah, so, yeah, weekly yeah, trade, he always locks a dog in the car. Yeah. Has the dog ever appeared distressed in the vehicle? Not so much, but he doesn't Buddy. need any water or anything. A man has been leaving his dog in the car while he visits a nearby building site, and this woman is worried. So you said weekly, he's always here. Yeah, over about the dog weekly, in. about over a month, we've seen him two or three times a week, just locking the dog in the car. We've asked several times for him to take the dog out, and he just refuses. We got an urgent job to come to this location because there's a dog locked in a vehicle. We take it pretty seriously, it's treated just as a child. Um, obviously, on today, the temperatures aren't going to get too hot, but most days, a dog can die within five minutes in a locked vehicle. All right, so we'll hopefully we'll get in contact with him, otherwise it's going to end up with tickets. Loading zone and a dog unattended in the vehicle. Thank you for your help. Apparently, he does it all the time, so we've called the NRMA to try and gain access to the vehicle. Failing that, if the dog's in there with no food, water or air, we'll probably break a window and get the dog out. Manuel, my name's Senior Constable Dare from Northern Beaches Police. Mate, your dog's been left with the windows up under the direct sun. Uh, if the NRMA don't get here within about 15 minutes, we're most likely going to be breaking your windows to get your dog and we'll be taking it to the nearest vet. So you need to come back to your car as soon as possible. Thank you, bye. Yeah, I've got two dogs. I'd never leave my dog in the vehicle. I mean, make a sensible decision. Take it with you, leave it at home, phone a friend. There's always some option. You don't just dump your kid in a vehicle. The same with your dog. My name is Constable Doris. I come from Northern Beaches Police. Is this a regular thing that you seem to do with your dog? On, on a cool day, yeah. Okay, are you aware that it is against oh, the law to lock your dog in a vehicle unattended? No. no. Well, now you are. Yeah. And you're parked in the loading zone yeah. five minutes. You've been here, we've been here 47 minutes. You've been here longer than us. Yeah. How long have you been here? What time do you Probably get here? About an hour. An hour. Do you want to let your dog out? Well, at least give some ventilation to the poor thing. It's not ventilation here. Yeah. No worries. You got any water or food for your dog? Yeah, but I'm only been it. I've only got. I'm on. Look, I've finished what I was doing. Okay. I haven't been here for the day. You can't justify your way out of locking a dog in a vehicle. I don't, it doesn't matter what the temperature is. Temperatures can change. Dogs can die in a vehicle in under five minutes. Yeah. What's happening now? What's happening go? is you're getting a... I need your driver's licence. You'll be getting a ticket. Very complacent about the matter. Um, I believe, you know, with his attitude, he may re-offend, but hopefully the tickets will be a deterrent for him in the future. have got witness statement that this is a regular occurrence that you do in this area. I recommend that you don't do it again. People are, are, are aware of it, just so you know that it is illegal. I mean, it's a common sense, it's an ethical thing. You don't leave your dog unattended in a vehicle. You never know what's going to happen. OK. All right, look after your dog. I do. Well, you're not. Well, I do. Mate, you're not. I know what sort of day it is. Mate, while we've been standing day. here, it's come out and sun shining. For an hour for a you can argue. Day. It's come out like three times, sun shining oh, straight onto it while we were here. Thank Honest you. to God. It's a beautiful morning, and police are down at DY Beach meeting with the locals. Oh. It's coffee with the cops, so we give out free coffees and okay. have a chat for people. When they spot someone they've been wanting to talk to. Stanley, mate, you've been coming under increasing notice around the area. Stanley, he's very well known to us, um, and he's currently a suspect in a... where two witnesses have seen someone matching his description uh, masturbating, allegedly. 
So I just wanted to talk to him about that and just see what he had to say about it. So we've obviously received numerous complaints about you over the last couple of days. What would that be, mate? The incident was reported a couple of days ago and the officer in charge of the matter has applied for the CCTV footage and it's currently in the process of being um, copied for us. We've had a couple of witnesses. Do you want to participate in the lineup? Just for the allegation of masturbating. So it is actually quite a serious matter, masturbating uh, towards another member of the public. It's a bit concerning, to be honest. It's a load of crap. Put down, it's a load of shit. I don't know, but allegations and allegations and stuff, they reckon that, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to say that. I don't know. Later that afternoon, Millsy has a chance to review the CCTV footage, and it's pretty clear what's going on. So here is the 17-year-old victim with her grandfather. So you can see the offender just walk up here and touch her on the hips. Uh, she looked a bit in shock. He's trying to get her attention, perhaps hiding it from her grandfather, who's still paying for the parking, and. You can see there he's just got his penis out. So this is when the uh, grandfather confronts him, saying we're going to call the police. Gets his penis out again. Yeah, so about four minutes after the, the car's left with the victim and grandfather, you can see him come back here. You see the male in the footage. He walks into the male toilet, and you see him following whilst urinating it's into the male toilet. Like, what's he thinking, seriously? From this evidence, it's clear that uh, we have the offender. So I listed him as wanted, and since then, he's been picked up by city police, and he's been charged with this offence. It's one of those perfect Saturday nights in Manly and it looks like no one is in the mood to stay home. Not even our four-legged friends. Yes, this is an escaped horse. Where? Uh, Warriwood. Yes. We've got this. Acknowledge it. Acknowledged. Best job. Informant states there's an escaped horse on the loose running up and down the road. It's worried that it might run into Pillwater Road and get hit by a car. We're gonna go catch the horse. Obviously. Rice is gonna go and catch the horse. <laughs> I'm the horse whisperer. <laughs> Uh, ah, we found a horse. Yeah. A couple driving past have managed to move the horse to the grass at the side of the road. There are multiple paddocks along this road, so it's fairly common for a couple of the horses to escape every now and then, and we just end up taking them back to a paddock until we can find their owner. Is this not a paddock here? Yeah, let's go. Yeah. We're just making inquiries with a couple of the owners around here to see if they know the owner. Is that paddock next door yours? No. No. Probably just down from down the road. He's just come to say hi to his friends that he hasn't seen for a while. Hey, you know what? I was pinned up down there. Yeah. The grass was greener over here. So they were just trying to identify whose horse it is. Yeah. Because he doesn't actually own any of the fields. Ah, oh, okay. Because yeah. I said, oh, well, can we just put it in that field? And he's like, oh, I don't want to be responsible for horse babies accidentally. <laughs> yeah. Brown and white horse babies. Brown and white horse babies. <laughs> These aren't purebreds. What the hell? <laughs> Now it's up to Bryce to show off his horse whispering skills and move it somewhere safe. Don't fight with your food. Leading it without the stirrups is going to be the, the hard part, or an apple, or food. I think I'm more likely to lose a hand than a... Yeah. Yeah, yeah open hand, open hand and flat. Well, maybe not. Watch out for this car, it's going to be... Oh, I have Jedi powers. Mate, probably, probably no, not a good idea to be speeding along here, yeah? yeah. So that corner there? See that pole there? Yep. A girl died there a year ago. Oh, so doing exactly what you're doing. So driver survived, passenger dies. Yeah? Yeah. So have a bit of a thought about that. You're responsible for everyone's safety in this car. Yeah. Yeah. On top of that, there's a horse loose up there. Is there really? Yeah. Oh wow. I think it would win a fight between your car. Yeah, it does. Alright. Don't be late, but don't speak. Yeah. Okay? Okay, those guys are sorted. Now back to the horse. Some locals here, they they know. Another guy here that owns horses, he's quite familiar with them. <laughs> Hi, mate. Are you able to assist us? Oh, yeah, he's a horse whisperer. <laughs> awesome. Just need some shoes. 
He knows how to wrangle them up and lead them across the road. Which I, I didn't want to do myself because it's a bit dangerous. Might bite my hand off. <laughs> Legend. He came down and he's walked him into the field here. Luckily enough, he knows where the key's kept and it's job done. Hopefully, we won't see the horse again tonight. Yeah. No worries. Thank you very much. Well, that's enough horsing around for one evening. <laughs> It's just before 10 p.m. when Alex and Dan spot two kids with fishing rods and something else. Hey, yeah. brother, is that your cone down there, mate? No? You sure about that? Up here, mate. We'll I was just walking towards uh, the Manly Skiff Club along East Esplanade, and I've seen two young blokes fishing. Um, I've then seen a bong next to his feet, next to his fishing rod. All right, brother, mine comes from Manly Manly Police, all right? I'm going to give you a search, all right? Yeah. I've got a bong down there next to where you guys were hanging out. Yeah. Uh, your mate here said he's had a smoke today. You had a smoke today, mate, or not? Uh, back at Mount Druitt, yeah. Back at Mount Druitt? Yeah. Why'd you bring your cone with you, mate? Why don't you leave it back at Mount Druitt? This is Manly. Obviously, he's come over to fish, but he does have a bong with him, and it looks like his mate was having something to drink as well. So they didn't seem to be of age to be drinking, so subjected him to a search. All right, all right let's get you to turn your pockets out for us, mate. Got no uh, needles or nothing on you, do you? All right. So I've just searched the young lad's bag fair amount of plastic resealable bags. As I said, this is consistent with um, cannabis. You smoke a fair bit, do you? Yeah. How many cones a day? So what, what's your name on the system, mate? Right? You look very nervous, man. What's wrong? Why are you agitated? With my lad, I uh, sort of could tell his mannerisms. He was looking a bit shaky and so forth. Got a curfew. Huh? You do, don't you? Yeah, you do. Turns out that he does have a, a curfew, which is to be at home by 7 p.m. Now it's 10 o'clock. It's in Manly. He's 13. He's from Mount Druitt, so it's a good hour and a half or so away. Who do you live with, Mum or Nan? Is she going to be awake right now? Yeah, she will be, because I'm going to call her, OK? We've got a 13-year-old and a 15-year-old. It's 10.30 on a Saturday night in Manly. Uh, you know, high level of intoxication here. It's probably not the safest place for them to be. I doubt that their parents know they're here either. Hi, my name's Constable. I'm from Northern Beaches Police. How are you going? Good. I'm just standing here at uh, East Esplanade in Manly with your son. I've just uh, spoken to the mother. Uh, she's a bit shocked that, one, he's out in Manly, and obviously this late, she um, has been looking for him and sent an older brother. Oh, I'm going to send him home once I'm done dealing with him here. Um, I've already I'm confiscating a, uh, like a little flick knife that he had on him. What's in uh, your bottle, actually? It's not apple juice, is it? No. What is it? A little bit of vodka. A little bit of vodka. Where'd you get the vodka from, bro? From a friend. Finally, Dan has some pretty good advice for the young bloke. You're 13. Change now. Otherwise, it's just going to keep going downhill, mate. You're not going to see me and my partner. You'll see every other cop, though. Yeah. Put it up here. It's time for them to be sent home now, and uh, we'll be in contact with the local police station and their parents later in the week. All right, mate, we'll get you ready for our squash grudge match. Yeah, well, yeah. And then there'll be absolute tears, as you can well imagine. <laughs> Sam and Ryan are on a regular evening patrol. Back to Manly, I'm hungry. When they spot a couple of women tinkering with a shopping trolley at a bus stop. What are they doing? Have a look. Hey guys, how are you going? Everything okay? What's going on? What's going on? Yeah. Trying to work out how do you get the dollar in the machine? Okay, where have you been today? Just to let you know. The biddies, I've got receipts for everything. No, that's all right. That's all right, you know. No paraphernalia, I'll slow down. Okay. We, were just, we were just confused as to what was going on. Can you please produce your, your uh, identification, please? Yeah. 
Up, the quicker you produce your identification, the quicker I'll, I'll get out of here. Bear with me, I'll just do a quick check and I'll be on my way. First name, Angela. You can understand as we're driving down, we're like. Sam runs a check on one of the women. Oh, I got a two years suspended sentence. That comes back clean. 37 copy last. But her friend. Well, take a seat for Well, me. she's just been busted. Oh, yeah. We're going to have to arrest her. Oh, yeah. Jodine? My name's Senior Constable Dara from Northern Beaches Police. You're currently under arrest for a stealing and a grievous bodily harm that occurred a week ago, OK? I may ask you questions in regards to this matter. You don't have to say or do anything if you don't want to. Do you understand that? Yes. Yeah, anything you do say or do will be recorded and this can be used in court. OK, so you're going to be coming back to Manly Police Station. All right. So in the city on a 7-Eleven, I believe, uh, she committed a stealing. And when driving away, I believe she was a passenger and she somehow dragged this guy along um, with her vehicle and he sustained serious injuries. Uh, so the process from here is she's being taken back to Manly Police Station where we'll interview her, speak to her, give her a chance to explain her side of the story and work it out from there what, what action to take. So a lucky break for the cops. A case of right place. Right time. So what does she, she have on her? A wanted can of A warning. For what? To be arrested and charged. Is it a warrant? No, it's a warrant. It's What's the difference? Created today, mate. How so, lucky is that? Hey, mate, it's Senior Constable Deaf from DUI Police. How's it going? Um, could you see if any detectives are there, please? Because I've just arrested someone they wanted and they just put it on to be wanted today of all the luck. So I've literally just arrested her then. She's being brought back to Manly Station now. Alrighty guys, I'm um, just running a drug dog tonight. Things have changed. The beach cops are targeting drug um, use in the area on a busy Saturday night. So pretty much we're just going to target licensed premises and the Corso. So we're initially going to start down at the wharf. There's a ferry that comes in uh, at 8 o'clock. Churchy's not here, but Gibbo, you guys will be 52. Oddie and Maz, uh, 54. we got the three guys from PTC. With the help of a drug detection dog, they're looking to catch people who are using or selling drugs around the Corso and Manly Wharf. And it doesn't take long. How you going, mate? My name's C. Comes for Roger from the dog unit. This is a drug detection dog, yeah? Yeah. He's indicating the scent of drugs in the airspace around yeah. you. You don't have to say or do anything if you don't want to. Do you understand that? I, I don't speak English, but I, I have a little... Uh, you got a bit of... Weed, yeah. yeah, OK, no worries. Mate. Have a chat to the officers here for me. Thanks, buddy. Yes. So the way we operate this is we've got uh, five plainclothes police officers uh, who will position themselves within the venue um, prior to uniform police and the drug dog coming through. And that way, once the uniform crew come through the pub, patrons that try to exit, uh, once they see the dog, can be stopped before leaving. It's a drug detection dog, yeah. Just yep. leave your hands out of your pockets. All right, he's indicating the scent of drugs in the airspace around you. You don't have to say or do anything if you don't want. Do you understand all that? Yeah. Cannabis. We weighed it, it's going in there. And we seal it in front of you. So I know you're not going to smoke it, is it? Yeah. So far, they've found plenty of cannabis. The title of that is 0 0.52. I agree, yes. As well as some harder stuff. What's the powder? It's cocaine. It's cocaine, all right. We've got more drugs in here, sir. More drugs? They're finished, empty baggies. Yeah, tonight the uh, drug dog's been excellent. He's uh, made quite a few detections. So far, we've detected cannabis and we've also detected two uh, hits of cocaine. And just as they were getting ready to call it a night, one suspect runs dumping his drugs as he goes. Uh, drug detection dog's gone to indicate on a, um, a male, and as she's gone to indicate on him, he's dumped a, uh, a Coles shopping bag, uh, a, um, an ID, and also a clear resealable bag. Mate, you're currently under arrest with 
possession of illegal drugs, do you understand? Illegal drugs? Yes. What drugs? Drugs that were in a blue bag. Yeah, when I saw, yeah, the drugs are coming, mate. From what I saw, I, I picked up the bag and uh, it looks uh, to me to be two bags, one containing uh, ice and one containing cocaine. He'll, he'll be getting a court attendance notice, so it was a good result, yeah. So we got some drugs off the street, it's a small amount, but um, hopefully he learns that he shouldn't have illegal drugs on him, plain and simple. Dogs uh, within the New South Wales Police Force are very well trained uh, and they detect all drugs so if you're thinking of bringing them down to Manly, don't because we will catch you.